is there a celebrity that when you guys think about them existing, just, they're existing. <laughs> just the thought of them moves you to tears. I'm bet I'm betting that there's probably at least one. I'm trying to. I'm trying to work up a couple big fat tears thinking about somebody. Up, 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 up. I got it. William Daniels. M- Mr. Feeney. John it's Adams. Solid. Oh, uh, just kind of. Oh, there they come. (laughs) 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 Griffin's sadness sounds like uh, it sounds like a wounded animal. (laughs) Don't you interrupt him. You get it all out, (laughs) Griffin. I gotta. uh, I gotta. (laughs) I gotta Google and make sure he's in Girl Meets World a lot. (laughs) Don't stop. This is the first step in healing. (laughs) People are apparently confused. He is in Girl Meets World. People are confused as to whether or not he is a ghost. There is some confusion on Girl Meets World as to whether or not Mr. Feeney, the character from Boy Meets World, is a ghost or not. Hey, Girl Meets World, how's your storytelling? Pretty good. Because people don't seem to be sure whether or not one of your major characters is a ghost or is a human existing person. Do you think that that's part of the natural progression as an actor? You go from, like, playing a leading man to, like, a more wizened sort of, like, grandfatherly presence to... Anytime you're on screen, it is questioned whether or not you are a ghost. It's just people assume, like, I'm in that phase of my career. The ghost phase. I'm in the Sir Alec Guinness phase where I only play <laughs> ghosts in all my movies. Can I hear that noise one more time? Oh, yeah. no, okay. Excellent. Uh, great. Yeah. Great noise. That's my ringtone. That's the end of the show. Uh, thank you so much for listening to our program. Uh, big thanks to MeUndies for supporting the show.